Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be going over all my tips, all my tricks, all my secrets, all the little tactics I use to break the world record for most kills in a single season of Apex Legends. On a non-meta legend, and I streamed a crazy amount of time. I didn't boost, didn't cheat, didn't get kill fed, none of that shady stuff. I'll show you guys exactly how I did it. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Starting off with tip number one, don't stay in games. And what I mean by that is if you stay in games where you're not getting kills or a ton of people are died off, it's going to be wasting a lot of time. Starting off with the hop, drop, and leave method, the goal of this method is to land, wipe, spawn, get a bunch of kills in a very small amount of time, and leave. Sometimes you'll die like you'll see right here. Then in some games as well, it'll start off really strong, but then you get to a point where you're debating if you should push another close gunfight. I only recommend pushing other gunfights if you do hear the shots and it sounds kind of close. Other than that, it's normally best to just leave anyway, but it is definitely worth the risk. I also want to add real quick while I'm going over this video that I do only play duos just because it's way easier to 1v2 than it is to 1v3. And then here I don't I don't see anybody. I hear people over here. I push the shots. Then unfortunately die, but it's still five kills in four minutes, which is more than worth. The goal is to to get like a minute less than the amount of kills you have just to make up for Q times and all that. And this game here is ideally how you would like it to go. Uh, I'll stop talking here and kind of let the games play out if you would like to watch them. If you would like the next tips, you can skip ahead. But this game right here is 7 kills in 3 minutes, which is honestly perfect. I mean, if you keep up that form of a rhythm, it will go on to be... I mean, you'll get so many kills. You'll probably get over 60 an hour. I do also want to add that this will only work, this method is only faster than just playing the games out if Q times are fast. So like for me last season with my grind, I early mornings when Q times were really really slow, the lobbies were a lot easier so it was definitely worth staying and playing it out. But this was only beneficial when Q times were fast. And if you're on PC, Q times naturally are a little slower. So I guess you'll have to kind of debate that amongst yourselves on whether it's worth it or not. But as long as Q times are taking under 30 seconds or under a minute, I would definitely deem this method one of the better methods. And there we are. Seven and three. Well, seven and three feet right there. Take that. And for tip number two, I got playing duos. Now you can do the solo queuing, filling with a teammate, or you can do this just playing with a friend. Either way works just fine. 
I do recommend leaving the game still if you're going a long time without seeing people, but what I mean by play duos over trios is trios tends to be early game fights and then the mid game for 4 or 5 minutes can be completely dead. Normally, by the time you find people in trios, it's the end of the game and then it's a big rumble and then it's pretty much over. Meanwhile, in duos, there's a, it's way easier A, solo to get those two kills just because it's way easier to 1v2 than it is to 1v3 and b it's way more consistent gunfights throughout the whole game in my experience at least all right <clears throat> so when it comes to playing duos solo queue or playing with someone i recommend hot dropping every game as you can see that i'll do here i'm not going to show a bunch of different video examples because that's very long but i have plenty of 20 bombs uploaded on the channel you go back through but I say play every single game like a 20 bomb. If you die off rip, you die off rip. It's better to die with one kill in one minute than it is to loot and then die with four minutes into the game and getting one kill. You know what I'm saying? I would also like to add that I know in this video I'm with someone just hanging out with a friend. But I want to, to just emphasize that whenever I'm solo duoing, I do fill, and normally it's like, type of deal like, uh, I kind of try to like run around and just do what I can. I don't play as slow as you see here. I'm going to keep the whole game in. I'm going to speed up parts to make it go a little a little faster. So if you would like to skip to the next tip, you're more than welcome to. But, but I say definitely it's worth pushing as much as you can and just trying to get those quick kills because the goal the goal of the matter, matter is a lot of people just think oh well in order to get a bunch of kills in a season I just need to get a bunch of high kill games and that's not entirely the case because if you do this method or or not, not this exact method but just mix in like the quick form games with these long form games as I did it equivalates up really fast like the goal is to minimize as much uh, or not minimize, I guess isn't the right word. Get rid of as much downtime as you can where you're not getting kills. And get your, your goal as close as possible to uh, <clears throat> a, uh, a kill a minute. That's, that's the goal. So like this game here, I'll shut up in a second and let it go on. I believe I end with 25 th kills and 5,000 some damage. And I believe it took like right around 18 minutes. Which is like this game equivalates to way more than any of the short form games I just had but it's obviously way more difficult to get good games like this rather than it is wiping the spawn in under a couple minutes and getting five six kills you know what I mean so it is different it is a little about gauging whether Q times are quick enough or not but I definitely and like there's so many times where where games like this where I just die off drop but as I said before okay. it's way way better to get a kill a minute uh, or a kill in a minute and die rather than land loot then push and get a kill and die in four or five minutes you know what i mean so that's my main uh main tips with that and i will uh i'm gonna let this play i'm gonna be quiet but i will uh catch you guys in the next tip Uh, you, you running in the door? You got bubble? Oh, oh, I didn't know what you were doing. 
drop you something go away. I heard all the shots on the other You can backtrack, literally just have to redust the lobbies every single time. Sweats, like sweats get on and then we got redust, and then now sweats get on and then so redust again. Just don't be there. Yo, for real. That's crazy. That's gonna be like opposite side of the spectrum. Right? Oh, bad, bad. Sorry, I'm gonna go I was like, I literally just said this could be a 20, I'm not dying that fast, yeah. I'm not one. I'm gonna tell the ring closes, and it's a walk. A long walk to you. Moving to Echo for a better angle. Watch this video, I can't put my place to one. Fuck out, I'm losing everything. I can't do something. I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm not contacting this, but I can't put this actually as a compliment. You are? Get your response to your response. I'm just going to have a Oh, this is right under me.
I got 23 right now. No, you're not. 30 bomb, we gotta let him rest. Easy peasy, let's go. He is not healed at all. What is that? Oh my. What is top 10 right now? 513. And that one game I got 400 and something. Like I didn't pop off any kills. I got uh, I got 415 for that game. Top 10 is uh, 559. And for tip number three, I got consistency. And what I mean by consistency it kind of falls back on what I was saying about duos. The main reason why I play duos and not trios, trios, you are more likely to get 20 bombs more frequently. You are more likely to have pop off games, but you're also going to have way more games where you don't have nothing, especially if you run into any form of a decent three stack. It's going to be really difficult to do much against them. So that's why I say duos. It's very easy to get more consistent games, especially when lobbies are a little bit more relaxed. But of course, if you're fighting Preds, it's still way easier to 1v2 them than it is to 1v3, you know what I'm saying? So another thing is tracking your kills. So going for, for reasonable, uh, goals for yourself definitely mean something and trying to improve also super helpful what i used last season is taz.gg now i do believe you have to link it through a twitch i'm not totally sure some form of streaming you can just link it up set it up and then press exclamation point start session i believe and it'll start your session and you can track exactly how many kills you get in exact amount of time including the downtime and everything or if you would prefer not to, you can just record just the game stuff and do it individually. But that's what I use. I recommend little stuff like that if you are trying to take it a little bit more serious. But of course, that's not at all required. I just recommend using it for a good way to like gate whether or like gauge whether you're getting better or doing better or doing worse. Like some days are going to be different, of course, but I definitely highly recommend that. All right, and for my final tip or tip number four, my biggest piece of advice is don't quit. You mu if you genuinely want to get a really high kill season, whether it's 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, whatever it might be, the biggest tip of advice I can give is don't quit. Lobbies and the game is always going to interchange. It's always going to be different. I, it took me so long to even have the confidence to go for anything crazy like I did last season. I started off when the game first came out. I've been kill grinding ever, like ever since. I started off on Wraith. I was top for leaderboard season one kills at one point. I was number one arena kills for a hot minute. I swapped around to a couple different legends here and there when it comes to like arenas and battle royale. I used to be grinding Wraith for kills, and obviously then the Vantage grind. And then this was on Vantage, but like I grinded for, I was number one Vantage before last season, so it was still a grind, you know. Just, it took me a very long time, so that's why I say don't quit. There's always learning to do. There's always different ways. Like the ways that I used last season, I've known about for a long time, but I just never found ways to utilize them like I did last season. It was very, it was a learning curve. And now, of course, I played a ton last season. Like in order to get what I did last season, I streamed over 400 hours 
two different months of last season without three strikes just to make sure that it was possible. Last thing I want to say is just thank you. Thank you to every single person that supported me last season and stuck around the stream or had faith. You know, I mean, last season was crazy. I'm very fortunate to have the amount of time that I had. I, it wasn't easy. It took a lot, of, a lot of effort, a lot of learning. Like, I'm not the greatest player. I'm not trying to say that I am. But I did manage to break the world record without doing any form of, like, exploit, you know, cheat, getting kill fed. I didn't, like, I, I don't know. Whatever people be doing, I did as legit as I could. I made sure I streamed it all. I had those trackers that I showed in the last tip section of the, I believe it was in the consistency section of what I used. And I had that going and stream all the time. Also want to say, I hope these videos are, are able to, to help people understand how I did it, how it was possible, as well as how I hope it's able to help people. You know, I, I've gotten so many people telling me it helps so much just through the Twitch streams, you know, whether it's Vantage or my Vantage guides of her, or if it's just me describing this in a more simplified way on the Twitch stream, people have said it's, they've noticed immediate difference, especially the people that have watched me for a while. And I hope to spread that to you guys, you know, I, I feel like a lot of people beat themselves up and they definitely don't need to. I also know I also know a lot of people like that are in school or have jobs that want to hit these these numbers like 10k but they just don't ever think they're able to and I want to like give people some faith in themselves it's 100% possible like granted if you're not the greatest and you got a lot of learning to do you got a lot of learning to do but using these methods I genuinely feel that people can up the amount that they like see within their seasonal kills you know what i mean season 20 is right around the corner so i really hope to hear a lot of people's feedbacks and let me know if you watch this video please come back uh at the end of next season and let me know how it went let me know if these tips were enough to help and the final thing i do want to say is thank you to every single youtuber content creator that was willing or nice enough to mention me or do a videos with me at all I don't have ways to get all the videos, but like the people that I did get more of a conversation with is like, I want to say thank you to Berno, first off, for not only making one video about this crime, but two. I, I genuinely appreciate that. He was such a kind guy, so, so nice. Like, I was so out of it when we did the videos because I just haven't slept, you know? I was sleeping very little, but like he's stayed super cool, super humble. Ton of love to him, and a lot of you guys have found me through him. Especially on the YouTube, because I'm very new to YouTube. So I just want to say thank you to all you guys as well. And then another person is Garrett. He found me on Twitter, mentioned me in a, one of his videos. Super nice guy. And said nothing but nice things about me. And I just want to say thank you to him as well. As well as Sweatband. I mean, Sweatband did a video on me with Arena. And when I took number one Vantage kills at just under 50k. So I want to say thank you to all those three creators. And everyone else. The streams mean a ton. Last season would not be possible. I would not be able to make this video right now and have the confidence I do behind what I'm saying and the tips I'm giving because of last season's grind. You know what I mean? I would not have done it if it wasn't for you guys. And I want to say, uh, if you liked the video, please drop a like. Let me know how it goes. Let me know your highest kill season down in the comments below. And I hope to catch you all in the next YouTube video. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great day. And I'll catch y'all later, yo. Peace.